Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your man again, Walker. And got all the gym stuff out the way. Now it's time for shampoo day. Yep. Uh, we wash our hair about once a week. That's about all you really need, unless you really work a dirty job. So, I'm going to show you today the wash and go method. Now what we're going to need is that we're going to need a medium brush, you know, something. Uh, we're going to need a comb. We want some uh, shampoo and conditioner. I like to use natural shampoo, natural conditioner, but it doesn't really matter. But just know that natural is the way to go for good healthy hair and a healthy scalp. Now the first thing that you want to do is that you want to comb the hair. Same thing, we want to lift up all the hair off of our scalp, okay? You want to lift it up. If you have a, if you have a set pattern, you kind of want to stay within your pattern, you know? If your hair is extra, extra dirty, then yeah, you can just go back and forth and, you know, make sure you're clean if you got a lot of dandruff in there. But if everything's been clean and you keep your hair pretty clean throughout the week, just stay within your pattern. First thing that you want to do that we want to go with hot water. You want to make sure you use hot water first, okay? The hot water is going to open up the pores, which is what we want. We want to open up the pores because we're about to put some shampoo on our hair. So we want our pores to absorb that so we can clean our scalp. So that's that's what's important. You got to have the healthy scalp to spin. So, once we get the water hot. Ah! Yeah. That was a little too hot. All right, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and soak all that in. Mm. Okay, once our hair has got some hot water on it, our pores are open up, we're ready to apply some shampoo. Doesn't take much, about the size of your palm. You don't need too much, depending on how long your hair is. Remember, we want to stay within our pattern. That way, the wash and go will come out a little bit neater. So... You want to put the shampoo on your hair like you're putting on some pomade. You know, you just don't want to rub it in there and mess up your waves. You know, keep your waves looking the same as we wash our scalp. That way the pattern will come out a lot better. Okay. Once we got some shampoo in there. Next step I want you to do is that I want you to use a medium brush, medium to a soft brush. Now, you want to brush the shampoo in the way your pattern goes. Now, the reason I say soft or medium is because, you know, I've seen guys using some hard brushes and it thins your hair out over time. That is true because our pores are open up and our hair is damp so if you use a hard brush you'll be irritating and scratching your scalp which is what we don't want to do you don't ever want to scratch or irritate your scalp if you do that over time your hair can thin that's why when you get a haircut to a number one guard or a 1.5 you wouldn't normally use a hard brush to brush your hair you would you would use a medium to a soft brush there's no need for a hard brush because you don't have that much hair. That's the same thing when you wet your hair. When we wet our hair, uh, our scalp becomes more prone to the bristles of the brush. So you don't want to use a hard brush to where it's just scratching my scalp 
all the time because over time that'll thin out your hair if you irritate your scalp it will thin out your hair so always keep that in mind guys you don't want to scratch the scalp so a soft brush should be all that's needed once our hair is damp so we just want to come around you know brush it all in you want to brush the shampoo in like you know I do that five minutes you know five minutes brush it all in there go with the pattern this is where this is where the pattern gets really really good at okay because our hair is wet as our hair gets wet it gets more manageable so you want to train that hair you want to teach that hair to flow the way you want it to flow while cleaning it up that's why wash day is so important for waivers it teaches our waves to be clean and it teaches our hair how to be trained This is all brush. Everything that you see was done by the brush. So you always want to include the brush in anything that we do. And this is why when wavers wash their hair, they usually use a brush because it does help. The brush always helps. Okay, once we got that in there, pretty much done on in. What you want to do is that you want to wash this all out and repeat it. So we want to put some more shampoo once we wash this shampoo out. Now, the second time you put the shampoo in there, you're going to notice how our hair gets more soapy. Now, that's good. That's good. That means that everything is cleaning up and our hair is opening up and our pores are opening up more and that means more manageability and that's good for waves so now what you want to do is that you don't want to use the brush too much just you just kind of want to hand smooth them now you know find your pattern you want to smooth the soap around your crown in the crown you know smooth it on around that way every rope is getting clean and laid very important some people think that you know it's a, a wash and go is just to hurry up and wash our hair and go no no you know it's more to it than that if you want if you want to wash and go yeah but if you want to wash and go with better looking waves you need to slow down when you wash okay and once we got that real real soapy your hair should be more soapy than it was the first time we're going to go back and do the same thing <clears throat> soft to medium brush soft to medium brush the ropes in this has helped getting rid of forks too because unlike the comb right now our hair is wet so the brush is able to eliminate forks now a lot better than it is with our hair being dry so basically what I'm saying is that brushing right now is a is kind of a lot more important than it would be when our hair is dry but still brushing is important you 
Just always take brushing more seriously when your head when your hair is wet. I'm not too dirty. And we're gonna hot water, wash it out. Now we're ready for some conditioner. We're almost out. Same thing. You want to put it in like it's some pomade. Now this time, instead of using the uh, brush, we've already got enough irritation brushing wet from the shampoo. Now we want to go to our comb. I like to use a wide tooth. Try to go for a wide tooth as your hair is wet. If you want to stretch out your waves and make them wider wide tooth the way to go same thing we're gonna start with our crown you know in there Now it's not going to look as foamy as with the shampoo, especially natural oils, so you don't need to worry about that. You just need to worry about combing through your waves. And don't wash this out until your hair is looking right. Make sure the comb touches every part of your scalp so it'll spread the conditioner around and you kind of want to leave this in I would leave the conditioner in for a good three to five minutes it's about all you need just three to five minutes now that our uh, pores are opened up our scalp is really taking to the conditioner But a strong, healthy scalp will lead to strong hair, I mean, which is what waivers want. We want strong hair. We don't want our hair to be weak and fall out. Okay, once we leave this in for another uh, two or three minutes, we're going to wash it out with cold water. I repeat, wash the conditioner out with cold water. I mean, frigid cold. You want to use super, super cold water. Okay? That'll really make the wash and go effect take real good effect. Use cold water to wash out the conditioner. Okay. Now that we got the conditioner washed out with cold water, uh, our last thing that we're gonna do, this is optional too, but it is a good thing to do. Uh, you need to get you some leave-in conditioner. Some type of leave-in conditioner. Now, I've seen people just use some regular 
natural conditioner and just leave that in for a little longer and put the wave cap on that that does work but if you have a lot of hair or you're wolfing that might not be too good of an idea to leave a conditioning a shampoo in your hair it's better to get some leave-in conditioning foam so this foam will go away and go into your pores and it'll be absorbed a lot better than regular conditioning shampoo so what you want to do is I need to give me some more is uh we want a couple of dabs just like that you want to make sure your hair is wet for this though too so make sure not to dry it not yet we want to put this all over just how we would put in some shampoo or conditioner or pomade stay within your wave pattern stay within the pattern a precise pattern will bring better waves always if your patterns everywhere waves everywhere doesn't really look good waves that are set in a pattern look a lot better even if you only have one or two waves if they're in a pattern they're gonna look a lot better than a person that has a lot of waves all over their head but you know they're going in all different directions that looks more like it's time for a haircut want to make sure this goes all the way around the more hair you have the more you're gonna to need to use this uh, I would say too that you need to fairly have this heavy on your hair so you're gonna run through this stuff a lot every time you wash and it's okay it's not gonna leave any excess buildup or nothing like that just want to make sure that it's hitting everywhere and this will really help eliminate frizz too as well because you don't want to take off the do-rag and see a curl you know pop up as your hair starts to grow so I'm not saying that this will lay your hair down but it helps your hair not to frizz up when your hair starts to dry now we're gonna go back to the brush on this one. We're gonna go back to the brush. Make sure you wash the shampoo out of your brush. Make sure you wash it out with cold water, okay? You wanna use cold water to wash your brushes out of uh, a shampoo or anything, really. You don't wanna use the hot water because the hot water will uh, heat up the chemicals and it'll stay on the bristles, as in with the cold water. Uh, more chemical left over will be flushed away okay and we just want to brush that in we just want to brush it in stay with our pattern nothing special just brush and there's nothing special like I said there's nothing special about waves except for Who's brushing more? That's how it should be. Yeah. That's what you want to do right there.
Montana. What are you doing? Move, dumb dog. Yeah. Yeah, I told you. I told y'all. Nice and clean. Ready to be do ragged up. That's the wash and go. Remember, shampoo, shampoo again, conditioner, leave in conditioner, do rag up. That's it. Make sure before you do rag, you don't have any forks. Because as our hair is still wet, we can still create forks while brushing a lot easier. But you want to make sure everything is looking flawless before you put the do rag on. Okay. We can go ahead and do rag up. For me, I'm gonna sue rag up because it's easier to take off. Shadow, get out of here. What are you doing? Okay. There we go. Uh, that's the wash and go procedure now we're gonna leave this uh, do rag on or any type of stocking cap that you might be using you want to leave it on for at least a good two hours make sure our hair is totally dry and take it off and I guarantee you you'll love the way you look I guarantee it Walker's white 